Hey guys, it's Adam here with RC Logger and today we're at our flying field and we're doing some Nova X flying. If you haven't already watched the Your First Flight video, now is a great time to start there. We're going to assume that you've already done your calibration procedures correctly, you've already got a general understanding for how the Nova X performs, and in this particular video we're going to explain to you and show you how IRPC works. IRPC stands for Intelligent Relative Position Control, and essentially the way that this process works is no matter which actual heading direction the Nova is facing, it will always respond in relative to your takeoff position. So in other words, if the nose of the Nova X is facing this way on takeoff, that's the way that the controls are going to work no matter which way the Nova is facing. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you now. But before I do that, I want to explain to you the switch positions. We have a three position switch, switch C, which has two preset banks. It's got aerial photography mode, which is position one. It's got sport mode, which is position two. And our third mode is our user selected mode. Well, through the application called iControl that interfaces with the Nova X, we've selected this third position to be our IRPC position. So for starters, I'm going to move that switch down to position three. I'm also going to make sure my Nova X is in GPS position hold mode, and I've got a good solid satellite lock. That's indicated by the solid blue LED on front and rear. So my next step is to select the position I want my IRPC, which we also call course lock, to work in. And I've selected nose straight out away from me. The next thing to do is start my motors and advance my throttle and take off with the Nova. Now, in traditional radios and traditional RC flying, if you push the, no the elevator forward and the nose is facing forward, the Nova X will fly away from you, right? That's pretty straightforward. Now, with IRPC, it doesn't care which way the nose is facing anymore. If I steer the nose to the left or to the right, and I push the stick forward, the Nova is still going to travel in the original direction you took off from. The beauty of this is it helps you if you have like a loss of orientation or you don't understand or just learning how to fly your Nova uh, without having to worry about is it facing me, is it facing to the left, is it facing to the right. It will always go in the direction that you want it to no matter which way the nose is facing. Even if the nose is facing me and I push the stick forward, it's going to go away from me. And this is a really cool feature, as long as you keep in mind, as long as the nose is facing away from me when I take off and I push that stick away, it's always going to go that direction, no matter which way it's facing after I've left the ground. So actually, we can do some really cool things with Nova X. We can yaw it and pull the stick back, and the Nova will continue to travel in a backward position, no matter what. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring the Nova in for a landing. Hold my stick down. Sometimes you have to move it to the corner to get a proper shutdown. So that, in a nutshell, is how IRPC works. If you have any further questions, you can always find us at support.rclogger.com or hop on our website, rclogger.com. Find our forum, and we'd be glad to have, happy to answer any more of the questions that you have. I'm Adam. Thanks very much for watching. Take care.